Hey guys, welcome back, it's Crystal. So today I have a Morphe Pressed Pigment Swatch Fest and review for you guys. I've been meaning to post this for several, several months. I am so sorry it took me so long to get this posted, but here I am swatching them and reviewing them for you guys. So I don't remember how many total they have in the line, but they have a lot and I purchased most of them. I may be missing like four or five of them. I kind of skipped out on the darker shades and maybe like a silver, I don't know, I just skipped out on some of them that I thought that I really wouldn't wear too often, but I have the majority of them. I've used them a lot off and on for several, several months. I am wearing one on my eyes today. These retail for $5.99 on the Morphe Cosmetics website. They are pretty big. You get three grams of product total. So this is what the packaging looks like. It's very cheap but you can't complain, I mean, it's super affordable. And then you get three grams of product. So these are bigger than like a MAC or Makeup Geek pen. I think what I'm eventually gonna do is I'm going to depop them and put them in a Z palette because I don't want like a bunch of these laying around. I probably have like 20 here. But they do have a lot of colors in the line. Now these are a pressed pigment. So when you swatch them, they do look a little bit chunky, but that's because they are a pigment versus just a regular eyeshadow. Pigments tend to have more of a flaky texture to them, if that makes sense. So I think the best way to apply these is either with your finger or with a damp brush. That's the way that I like to apply them. Um, some of them go on very pigmented if you use them with a brush dry, but I just find that some of the colors, some specific ones, just apply better with your finger or with a damp brush. For instance, the one I'm wearing on my lids today is this one here called Room Service, and it's like a green color. It's really pretty. So I ended up using this one dry and then I went in with it wet. I just wet my brush and then went back into the shadow and applied that. And I also tried it with my finger as well. So it worked either way. So overall, I do like these. They are pretty pigmented. They have beautiful shades and some of them are softer in texture than others. Some of them I felt were a little bit dry, especially some of the lighter shades. I was really hoping that the lighter shades would be like really nice quality because I was wanting to wear them as a highlight on my face. Um, but I felt like some of the lighter shades were actually a little bit drier feeling, so that was a bit of a bummer. But as I like zoom in and do the swatches for you guys, I'll definitely let you guys know which ones feel a little bit drier in texture. So, but overall, I think they are nice for $5.99. You do get a lot of product, they have a lot of colors, and they are pretty pigmented. So. If you like metallic shadows, I think you would love these. So let's go ahead and zoom in and swatch these babies. Oh, and let me show you the packaging. So this is what the packaging looks like. It is very lightweight and cheap. So I do plan on depotting mine. And just so you know, these are made in China as with most of Morphe's products. So just in case you were wondering where they're made, they are made in China. This first one here is called Champagne Night. And this is what it looks like. So this one I would say, it feels pretty smooth, but this one's pretty powdery. I was just a little bit disappointed with the lighter shades. So this, so this one has like a pink shift to it. It's really pretty and it does work on the eyes, especially if you use it wet, but like when you swatch it with your finger, or pick it up with a brush, I do feel like it's a little bit powdery, so not the best of the bunch. You can see like the texture of it seems kind of like flaky. All right, so this one is called Mimosa Sunday, and this is what it looks like on the finger. This one again, a little bit a little bit on the flaky powdery side, but again, that's kind of typical of a pressed pigment, but some of them are just a little bit drier in texture than others. And again, the lighter ones just seem to have a little bit of a drier texture. But that's Mimosa Sunday. It's a really pretty shade. I love that color. Um, it has one's called Conceited. So this one's a little bit deeper. 
still a gold shade, but a little bit deeper. This one, when I swatch it, it's a little bit softer, not as powdery as the other two. This one is called Powder Room. This one has a beautiful metallic pink finish. This one is called Hollywood Vixen, and this one has a softer texture than the previous four. This one has a really nice texture to it. It's much smoother, not as flaky as the others. This color is freaking gorgeous. I love that. It's almost like a bronzy gold bronzy gold champagne not good at describing shades but I like that it's like kind of a bronzy gold because I don't love all golds I don't like really yellow golds so this one's like the perfect bronzy gold this one's so chic and polish it should be so chic and polished with an ed at the end but it's just polish but this one's also a freaking gorgeous color. I would say this one's a little bit more rose goldish, maybe a bronzy rose gold. It's really pretty. Very metallic, gorgeous. Love that one. All right, this one is the Afterglow. This one, again, stunning. It's like a beautiful taupey gold, taupey bronze, maybe. smooth texture. This one's a nice, I feel like the last three were nice in texture. The bronzy shades. This one is stunning. It's called Coffee and Drama. Look at that. Oh, so pretty. This one's called Rodeo Drive. This one has a very flaky texture, as you can see right there, but it is very soft. It doesn't feel dry, just it is very flaky. But it is a beautiful coppery shade. This one is called High Class. A very, very warm coppery shade, much more yellow toned. This one is called Kill the Lights. You can see how pigmented they are. Like I still have some left on my finger. Just goes a long way. This one is called On the Rocks. This one's nice and smooth. Again, this one I would say like a bronzy copper perhaps. This one is called Five Star Luxury, and this one has a chunkier texture to it. This one's called Marry the Night, and I would say this one has a smooth texture.
This one is called Gossip Girl. This one is very chunky in texture. This one's called Socially Broken. This one's a little bit chunky, gritty in texture. I wouldn't say gritty because it's not like rough, but it's flaky in texture. This one is called Dress to Impress. This is one of the ones where I feel like there's a couple of them or maybe three of them where if you press too hard, it just picks up a lot of product. So you just barely need to touch it. So this one is a little bit looser, I guess I would say, but it's very pigmented, like extremely pigmented. This one is called Bad Romance. This one has a really nice smooth texture. It's like a nice rich chocolate brown. This one is called Celebrity Affair. This one has a little bit of a looser, um, flakier texture. And this is the one I'm wearing today. It's called Room Service. It's a very pretty green, gorgeous, very reflective and metallic. So this one is more flaky. It's not as smooth. Definitely has a pressed pigment feel to it, but it's just a really beautiful green. This last one that I have is called Make a Statement. This one has the worst texture of all of them. I feel like it's very dry, very flaky. I don't know, it just feels very gritty. This one actually feels gritty. It does not have a smooth texture at all. Like some of them felt kind of smooth, but you could tell they were like flaky, like a pressed pigment, but this one just feels the worst of them all. It is a really pretty color and very pigmented. Like, oh my goodness. I don't think I've worn this one. This is probably the only one I have not worn. And I just want to show you what I mean with the brush. So if you take like a flat brush and you go like this, it's going to look very like chunky or flaky on the brush. That's why I feel like it's best to go in with these wet or with your finger. Cause as you can see with the brush, it does get the pigment on, but I feel like you do have to kind of layer it and press down to get the intensity that you want. But if you swatch it with your finger, obviously, because of the oils on your finger, it just applies much better. Or if you wet the brush, so let me wet my brush real quick. So I wet my brush again, sorry, this is like kind of awkward, the way I'm sitting. So as you can see, wet, it's just more intense. So either with your finger or wet is the way that you get the most intensity with these. All right, so those were all the pressed pigments that I have from Morphe. There's a total of 21 that I own. They do have more shades. Um, I feel like they have a lot of very bronzy and warm tone shades. I feel like they need to expand the color selection a little bit more. I mean, I feel like they do have like a large color selection, but I feel like a lot of them are kind of similar where you wouldn't need all of them. Like for instance, a lot of the ones that I have that are like bronzy like this, I feel like they're, you know, kind of similar, so definitely don't need them all. If they did come out with more shades that I was interested in, I would definitely purchase them. So I do like them. You do got to work with them a little bit because they are a pressed pigment, best with your finger, best with a damp brush, but they are workable. They are very pigmented, very reflective, very pretty. So I'm happy with them. I do enjoy them. If you guys have tried them, let us know your thoughts about them in the comment section. And thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I love you guys. Have a great day. Bye.